tough times never last but tough people do so today we will go through previous years question paper problems from circles and if you need more details on the circles chapter go to the revision playlist there is a circles one shot uh, video which has more than 25 types of problems solved and explained before we go through the questions of circles chapter i would like to go through the playlist that is there in the channel right because i keep getting repeated questions on uh, uh, publishing certain videos while many of the videos are already present in the channel what you have to do is you have to go to the playlist section you have one playlist which is completely for revision or one shot videos for multiple chapters such as probability permutations ratio proportions matrix determinants so all one shot videos are here in the revision playlist then you have solved papers previous years question papers model papers and then all the important questions the passing package in three markers two markers one markers so all of those videos are present in this particular playlist and then you have a playlist for formulas you have chapter specific formula videos and then there is a playlist for tips and tricks especially matrix multiplication binomial theorem mathematical logic and then you have chapter specific playlist uh, for example differential calculus integral calculus mathematical logic binomial theorem and then you have one playlist which has all the videos for basic maths right it's a combination of all revision model papers solved papers formulas everything all in one you have in this particular playlist which is basic maths class 12 all videos so if you don't find video anywhere you will surely find it in this particular playlist so i hope this is clear i hope you make the best use of all the videos thank you now let's look at the questions first we will go through concyclic problem and then we can look at the solutions of other problems this is an important problem so first four points are given here in the question you have to prove that it is concyclic that means you have to prove that these points lie on the circle right so what you have to do is take these three points this one this one this one leave the point with 0 0 we'll take it at the last take these three points take the general equation of circle this is a general equation of the circle so in this equation take this first point 3 and minus 1 so wherever you see x and y instead of x you substitute 3 and instead of y you substitute minus 1 like this right and then you get one equation next you take second point 3 and minus 3 right so instead of x you put 3 and instead of y you put minus 3 like this so you get another equation now you take the third point 2n minus 4 so instead of x you put 2 and instead of y you put minus 4 and you'll get another equation now you have three equations so you take equation 1 and equation 2 here take equation 1 and equation 2 you try to subtract these equations so that 6g and 6g will get cancelled in case here both the equations have 6g and 6g if i subtract this what will happen 6g and 6g will get cancelled like this and then whatever is left over i will subtract and put it here this will become another equation now here since g is cancelled c is also getting cancelled so i am left with f so if i simplify i'll get value of f so you'll get f value so next what we will do is we'll take equation 2 and 3 we we took equation 1 and 2 and solved it now we'll take equation 2 and 3 right we'll take equation 2 and equation 3 and then again we will solve it how will we solve it we have to solve it in such a way that one of the variable should get cancelled it can be g or f or c it should get cancelled now if i subtract these two equations plus c and plus c if i subtract it will get cancelled so i'll be left with 2g plus 2f minus 2 is equal to 0 thereby i'll get this particular expression so you have the f value take the f value and substitute in this particular equation so you will get g value right what will happen here i'll get g f is 2 so i'll get g is equal to minus 1 so i got i got g i got f and now i have to get c so take any any equation here where which has c take any equation which has c see i'll take equation 1 you know the value of g you know the value of f so when i substitute and i simplify i'll get value for c 
like this right so i'll get c as 0 so now i have g f and c so what i will do i'll take the general main equation what is the main equation x square plus y square plus 2 gx plus 2 fy plus c this is the general equation now in this general equation you substitute g f and c right that's what we got right and then you'll get this particular equation now i'll take the fourth point fourth point was 0 0 i'll take this fourth point and substitute 0 for x and 0 for y or whatever point is given i'll put this in this particular equation i will substitute x and y these values so when i put 0 0 0 the entire equation is going to become 0 even the general equation it is equal to 0 and when i put the fourth point also it's equal to 0 that is rh is the same since rh is the same we will say all the four points are concyclic now sometimes what will happen is here we simply subtracted and we got the value of g and f it was little simple sometimes what will happen is it will directly not get cancelled so for example say instead of 6g it was 3g just for an example right instead of 6g it was 3g now how will i cancel this i can't cancel this right because it's 6g this is 3g this is 2f and 6f what will i cancel so what i will do and assume that you know it was 2c here just assume that this was 2c here nothing would be getting cancelled so what you will do is you will try to multiply with some number say here you have 3 right you will multiply with some number so that you will get this 6 so you will multiply the entire equation with 2 so when i multiply the entire equation with 2 i will get 6g and 12f like this so you multiply the entire equation and then you subtract it so that this will get cancelled not every time you will have to subtract sometimes what will happen instead of plus 6g it could be minus 6g here here it will be minus 6g and this one will have 6g then what you will do you don't have to subtract you will have to simply add because if i add 6g and 6g because there is minus here it will automatically get cancelled right so don't do subtraction if there is already negative sign here so practice this problem this is a very important problem here are the solutions of other problems